Welcome back to the channel. And today we have a fun little beginner's modeling exercise. And that is how to take a cube and model it into a foot with nice topological flow and a nice simple topology here, nothing complicated. So if you wanna learn how to make this, keep watching and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step through simple methods, how to get from a cube to these nice looking feet over here. So with a new scene open up in Blender, let's select the default cube and we're gonna tab into edit mode. At which point we're gonna go into our front graphic view and we're gonna go G, Z and holding in control, we're gonna snap it to the floor like so. So it's sitting here at the top. And then we're gonna go into our right orthographic view by pressing three on our number pad. And let's go into our X-ray view and let's select this front face and go E to extrude and extrude it out. Let's extrude it out to about here and let's grab these two verts and go G, Z and let's move them down like so. And then let's grab this face up here and go E to extrude and extrude it up about this much. And let's go X and let's delete that face at the top like so. And then we're gonna go into our top orthographic view. And in our top orthographic view, let's select this front face and go S, X, and scale it on the X a little bit. And then we're gonna go Control R and just add in a loop in the middle. Control R, double click. And the side, we're gonna go Control R, double click. And over here, we're gonna go Control R over here and add in a loop over here. And then what we're gonna do is in our top view, let's just select these front faces and go E to extrude them a little bit like so. And then we're gonna press A to select everything. And then we're just gonna come in here, Control R, add one in the middle. And Control R, add one over here. And then we're gonna press A to select everything. We're gonna to go to our Smooth tool. And we're gonna click and drag and just smooth it out a little bit like this. Then we're gonna turn off our X-ray. And now what we're gonna do is we need to have an area here where we can extrude the toes. We don't want to go Control R and add in loops here, which is what a lot of beginners will do, but then you're adding in unnecessary loops over here, too much topology. So a better way to approach this is to press K on your keyboard. So let's come over here and press K. And let's click over here with the cut tool and let's go to the next edge. And let's go all the way back to here. And let's come over here, click in the middle. And then let's click across onto this vertex over here in the corner and then press enter. And then let's come over here, press K to get the knife tool and let's click over here and go cross like so. And then let's click over here in the middle just like we did before. And let's click on this vertex here in this corner and then press enter like that. And now we're just gonna come here, press K again and let's just cut across from this vertex to this vertex like that. And now let's do the same thing at the bottom we're gonna come over here, press, in fact, let's go from this vertex over here. We're gonna press K. Let's go from here down to this edge over here. Let's come to the bottom, click over here in the middle and then let's click on this vertex over here and press enter. And let's come over here, press K. Let's come over here, come down, come across, click in the middle of this face here and then go to this vertex in the corner, press enter. And then let's just press K and just cut across from here to here and then press enter. So now we still have quads, we still have um, square faces, but we have a little bit of a better situation now because we have more faces here at the front to deal with, but we haven't added unnecessary topology to the rest of our foot. So now we can see we have, you know, one, two, three, four toes here. But what about the other toe? Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab this, these two faces here on the side like this. Let's go to our top view and let's go R to rotate and let's rotate this and go G to move it out a bit. And then let's go to our vertex select option and just select these two verts, tuck them in a bit. And then let's just space these verts out here like this. Easy. So now this is what we have. Um, I might just grab this guy over here, just these three verts, double G, just slide them up a bit. Same with these guys over here, double G, just slide them up. Just to make them a little bit more evenly spaced. And we want more space here for the big toes. So I'll slide these guys up. And now let's go to our face select option. Let's select this face and this face over here. And let's go to our right orthographic view. And let's go G and move this down a bit. And let's go E to extrude, G to move up, S to scale a little bit. And let's go E to extrude, G to move it down a little bit like this. And then E to extrude forward, S to scale. 
And now we have our first toe. And then let's grab the next two faces. Let's go to our right orthographic view. Let's enable our X-ray. And let's do the same thing. E to extrude. S to scale. E to extrude. G to move it down. Let's move a bit more further forward like this. And then E to extrude. S to scale. And now we have a toe over here that's a little bit longer. I'm going to go out of X-ray mode. And then I'm going to grab this, these two here. And let's go ahead and do the exact same thing for this. I'm going to go to my right view. Go back to X-ray. E to extrude, S to scale, G to move it up. E to extrude, a bit more forward, E to extrude, S to scale, like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab the next two over here. And then I'm gonna go into my left orthographic view by pressing Control and a number pad free. And with this one, we're gonna go E to extrude, S to scale, bring it up. E to extrude out, S to scale, and then E to extrude, S to scale like that. And I'm going to go into my top orthographic. I'm going to enable proportional editing. And under the drop down, I'm going to make it connected only. And I'm going to go G and just bring this in a little bit and rotate it just to adjust it like so. Now we have our three toes over here. Now let's grab the big one over here. And let's go to our top orthographic view. And this time we're going to go E to extrude. And this time we're going to rotate it slightly. G to move it in here. And now we're going to go E to extrude like so. And let's go E to extrude one more time, S to scale. And let's go to our edge select option, select this edge down here and go G, Z and just bring it up. And then double G just to slide it forward. And let's grab this guy here, G, Z, move it up. And now this is what we have. Some nice looking toes. I'm gonna to go into my front view and just adjust these by bringing them down a little bit with proportional editing, just so they sit more on the floor. But now we have our toes. Okay, so now you can go with proportional editing, you can grab different edges, and you can just adjust the shape of your foot a little bit more, but more or less, this is a simple foot you can model. And from here, you could um, add a lot more details, subdivide a little bit, um, but this is kind of like the simplest foot you can possibly model using this technique. So go ahead, spend as much time as you want polishing it up. But this is where I'm going to leave this tutorial on modeling a foot in Blender. And if you wanted to mirror this, you could just go into edit mode and go G, X, move it over to the side and you can go to your mirror modifier or your modifier. So just click plus and then search for a mirror. And by default, it should be set to the X. So then you have two feet like this. And you can also go add and search and just get a subdivision modifier. Tab back out, right click and go shade smooth. But that's really all there is to modeling feet in Blender. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this. And I'll see you next time for another Blender tutorial.